guys, my topic is entitled, How the Loyalists Help the Bahamas' Development. Sit back and enjoy. So one may ask the question or ponder the question, who were the Loyalists? The Loyalists were a group of political refugees that remained loyal to the British crown, at least they wanted to. You know, as a result, they were severely punished. Um, some t- in certain instances, they were actually tarred and feathered and... All of these detrimental activities led to um, a lot of displaced people. There were a lot of displaced loyalists. And so much so that they were forced into military labor. They had to build fortifications. Also, they created cotton plantations. In 1783 to 1785, this gave rise to refugee camps. So the British offered freedom to the enslaved refugees if they ditched their rebel slave owners. Loyalists were held in groups in New York and Florida, and eventually Britain had to surrender and relocate. Their first choice was to go to somewhere like Canada, Nova Scotia to be exact. However, it was way too cold over there. So they decided to be dispersed among the Bahama Islands like Abaco, Long Island, and Exoma. There it was warm. The population was low. They can grow cotton. And and it was close to Florida. As time progressed, they even invented a cotton gin. And no, it's not the alcoholic drink. It was a gin where you could actually have a machine extract the cotton fibers from the seeds or vice versa. Unfortunately, the loyalists also experienced some setbacks. Um, some of which would include... Um, the cotton plantation or the cotton industry wasn't all that it seemed. And the black free slaves were still being mistreated by the whites. And then there was Lord Dunmore. He set up courts where he could actually adjudicate the status or status of each of the free slaves. In most cases, the slaves were ruled as slaves and they were used as allies. The slaves eventually... um get de facto freedom and like mentioned in many instances they had to give a portion of their crops to their slave owners slave codes were obviously present during this time and this created havoc and confusion and paranoia did i say paranoia paranoia amongst the population one of the worst things that happened was that they had to serve as they had to serve inside a special militia where they captured runaway slaves. An example of, of a free black colonist would be Prince Williams in 1801. Um, it was said that he owned land even though it was not legal for that to happen back then. And he was also the founder of Bethel Baptist Church. By the 1790s, the cotton industry had began to start declining inside the Bahamas. So much so that they were forced to... Um, start embarking on a new industry such as um, salt raking. This occurred during the 1780s to 1810s. Soon after many, many years, the Loyalists left and returned to America. Some of their benefits that they left behind were they created government and politics, they boosted the economy, they improved the infrastructure, and they created religion. Some of the disadvantages were slavery, segregation, discrimination, So I end by using this quote, and it says, Liberty must at all hazards be supported. We have a right to do it, derived from our maker. But if we had not, our fathers have earned and bought it for us at the expense of their ease, their estates, their pleasure, and their blood. John Adams.